Hey guys, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, a while being a month. I've had some stuff going on, but I've got my camera, my SD card back again, I've got my softbox is working, and I'm determined to upload twice a week from now on. So yes, I know I'm a bit late with this video, but I still wanted to make it anyway, and it's always good to keep the conversation going about this kind of stuff. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the whole YouTube sexual abuse stuff with Sam Pepper and Jason. If you don't know what's going on, then I'll leave some handy videos in the description to kind of catch you up on what's been going on, but there's a lot. So Sam Pepper recently uploaded a video where he was pinching girls' bums, which is definitely sexual harassment, because the definition for sexual harassment is touching people without their consent, even after they tell you to stop. If you touch someone's Bum and they haven't consented to it then that is sexual harassment and if you continue to do it then that's just wrong. He then tried to cover up what he did in a cover up video, if it's still up I'll link it but I don't think it is but I don't know if it is it'll be down there. Then lots of stories came out about how he'd raped someone and how he'd sexually abused viewers of his like Dottie made a video which I found was really good so that'll be done in the description as well and then Jason was then outed by Annie Max video also in the description about how he got her drunk when she was underage and had sexual intentions. I can't really remember it that well but I have friends who he's sexually abused both Jason and Sam and I can say that it is so wrong. They're both trying to cover up their tracks and they're both trying to return to the internet but they need to leave. Sexual harassment, sexual abuse, rape, they're not jokes and they're all serious subjects and it's kind of sad that it's taken it happening in our community to actually have people talk about it. I'm not going to talk about this too much but I personally have been sexually harassed before and someone's also tried to emotionally manipulate me into sleeping with them. Them. obviously I didn't but they tried and it hasn't affected me too much like it wasn't anything major so I'm not gonna pretend it was it has kind of changed the way I do some things for example I don't like people touching me anymore I go since I go to a lot of YouTube gatherings and stuff a lot of people like hugs so I, I hug people because it's kind of rude not to but I feel so uncomfortable if people are hugging me if people touch me people can just touch my arm people can hold my hands I don't like it I can't deal with people touching me anymore and it may you may think it's stupid but it did kind of affect me slightly things like that affect people in different ways I wasn't raped, I wasn't hurt or anything like that. I just basically got harassed for a month by someone who was in my old school. It wasn't nice and the worst thing is, I'm just gonna say this now, is that he did it in public. For example, on the bus, the bus stop, on the way to school, and no one did anything. I would tell him to get off me and people would just stare. If you see someone who looks like they're being harassed, don't just stare at them. S see if they need help because someone could have easily stopped him from doing it for 30 days straight because that's what he did. Someone could have stopped that but they didn't and it's just like people don't do anything about it they just kind of think oh it's not my business if someone looks like they're uncomfortable in a situation and someone else is pestering them if I saw someone like that I would try to speak up about it I would try to help them and see what's going on but it's just kind of bad that grown adults when I was like 15 16 as well would just watch this guy continually try to continuously try to touch me when I told him not to back to YouTube this thing obviously doesn't just happen on YouTube it happens everywhere all the time that's what a lot of people are using as an excuse for Jason and Sam to get away with it. I saw a comment saying, oh, it happens all the time, get over it. There's no big deal. It's like, no, they use their position of fame to hurt people and that can't be forgiven. I don't think it's right they return to YouTube. I think it's good that people are making videos about it and talking about it and people are coming forward. I know it must take a lot of courage to come forward about that kind of stuff. And I'm proud of everyone who has. Ow. That's all I'm going to say today. There's probably a lot more I could have said, but I can't think of it. As I said, I'll link some useful videos that I liked or videos that might help you catch up on what's going on in the description. I will see you guys on Friday when I will have a new, hopefully not as depressing and sad video then. This wasn't even depressing or sad because this is about real problems, but it was kind of not as yay if that even made sense. I'm not going to hold myself out in this because I just don't feel right. So, bye! <laughs>